Good morning, YouTubers, or good evening. My name is Ken. I'm gonna do an unboxing of the True Grit wall-mounted rack. I was able to pick this up on the cheap. Just got lucky. All right, seems fairly well packaged. Did you start recording? Yes, yeah, okay. Comes in two boxes, as you can see. Fairly obvious. As my wife would like to say, yes, Captain Obvious. Comes with instructions. Looks like all the hardware is here. Looks like we do have Stringers, which is important. It's the easiest part of putting this rack up. This is supposed to be 11 gauge steel. I guess we'll find out how strong it is when I get it up. The instructions aren't great, but they work. This is the wall I'm putting it on. I'm trying to mark the studs. Looks like we have two boxes of hardware here. Looks like we got parts for anchoring it into the concrete and then the standard wall stud screws. So far, so good on the packaging. Everything is wrapped either in bubble wrap or styrofoam wrap. These J hooks are no joke. Heavy duty steel, it's wrapped in plastic. Yeah, I know. It doesn't compare to an iPhone unboxing, but pretty nice. Some minor blemishes, but I can live with that. I mean, they've got everything wrapped up really well. This thing was taped and wrapped pretty good. Just to clarify, this is 11 gauge steel, and this is a three by three. Man, those jet hooks are pretty beefy. I mean, they really wrap these up pretty good. Minor blemishes, not a big deal. Just unpackaged these ginormous bolts. Now the most important part to putting this up is like the foundation, the stringers. I don't know why anybody wouldn't buy one of these without stringers. I know they sell them without, but a pain in the neck that would they're fancy. This is true grit. So, they don't give specifics on height mounting and whatnot. As you can see, it's a pretty bland list of parts and where to connect, but not how to connect them. So, I'll be going to their website looking for support. All right, so I had to go to Home Depot and get a 15 16th socket. Man, and of course, for the socket bit, uh, bolts are bigger than any of the tools I've had in the past. Um, recommendations when you get the drill bits, get some high end ones. So, this is the piece I have so far. It's complete. Also, the bottom edge is measuring about, is that a 10 and a quarter? Not even a quarter. Okay. So you can see how these bolts go on horizontally. So if you're wondering what I did, I traced the assembled bar with that piece on it and I did a block right here. And then I did the dimension from across here, which is like eight and a little a quarter, or eight, was it eight inches? Eight and a quarter inches. So it was like four and an eight. From this hole to this side. So I did the center 
of that little trace block and that's where I get my first hole here. And I'm doing the same for the hole across the way. A little creativity, but I'll have some dimensions for you here in a minute. All right, so to clarify, this is where we're sitting at, about 10 and a half inches. Then from this one to this one. About 52, this is shy of 52 inches. It's looking good so far. You gotta keep in mind, you gotta leave yourself enough room to be able to lift up and fold it. I barely made it. Plus these are these are just at the bottom. So you can kind of wind it out a little bit. In case you're wondering, I'm using this 15 16th wrench with a 15 16th socket. Putting one in on this side. And then goes quick. Well, not too shabby. Well, I'm still gonna do that iPhone feeling. Alright, to note, they give you these 16 of these, uh, call them lag bolts. Anyway. These are all in the studs. Yeah, I know, you probably wonder why that was at an angle. I almost missed that stud, so I had to catch it. Same thing down here. Four top, four bottom. Have fun doing when you do this. It is a uh, challenge. Again, this is a three by three, 11 gauge steel, heavy duty. to know what's going on here. So this one has two ball bearings in this pin. That one has one. This one has one. And this one's missing one. And these two have one. Well, to finalize it, put the pull-up bar on top. You may have to take these pins out first and put those pins in next. Just FYI. Yeah, I don't know. Looks good though. Hope this helps. Also, I want to note there are plastic feet to help from, keep from scratching your floor. All I wish True Grit Fitness is seeing this, you guys put out a detailed instruction booklet on how to put this thing together. This thing right here ain't gonna cut it. There's no measurements. But it saved me some time. Other than that though, high quality stuff, a few things issues in here and there, but huh? I'm just glad it came with stringers. All right, this is the unit folded away. Seems to work. 